Good afternoon, everybody. We are back. We are here. We are ready to go. It's nice outside today. It feels a little cool out there, but it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. 50s, it's it's a little cloudy, but it's not dreary. It's not gray. We got Dark Bro first in the chat, and yes, you did beat me to my own stream today, Dark Bro. Mr. Brian, Dark Bro! Thank you very much for the licking stick, Dark Bro. You peel that banana, you tilt the head back, you lick that banana, and you stick that banana... And you make sure you maintain eye contact the entire time you are eating that banana. We got Mr. Brian, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Kombu, Richie's Plain Talk. What's going on, Kombu? Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Richie's Plain Talk. Thank you very much for 10 green names. Regular Potato got a green name. Shana got a green name. Eddie got a green name. Official got a green name. Matrix got a green name. Balls and Holes got a green name. Ted got a green name. Devil's Advocate got a green name. Refi got a green name. Daz2 got a green name. And uh, Mr. Brian, while well, your name is green now, still looking good on that one. Richie, dude, thank you very much for 10 green names. You guys know the drill. If you got a green name, please say thank you to Richie. If you didn't get a green name, still say thank you to Richie. Grow in the green names out there like never before my goodness he is coming in and coming in hot like the crypto market so all you green names welcome congratulations thank you richie for throwing those out there ha first to 10 memberships there you go richie i love it dude congrats to all the new members dark bro knows what to do i know i'm looking to be in here today mr brian i'm glad you're in here today dude uh what's up bros uh, brandon ransom how you doing man what's up brandon what's going on uh voyager joseph voyager you're talking about voyager right the bankruptcy finally potentially being settled and being able to move our assets over to binance as soon as possible for real though, uh, the judge, the appellate court judge, has decided that customers can start moving their assets over. There's a couple things that that I guess would hold up the final decision, but it doesn't affect customers being able to move their assets over to Binance. So as soon as it's available, what you're going to need is a Binance US account. There is a link in the description below if you guys want to sign up for one through my affiliate link. I get $10, you get $10 if you use that link. If you do not use somebody's link, you just don't get $10, right? So if you've got a friend and they're also in Voyager and they need to open up a Binance account, sure, go ahead, use theirs. I don't care. Just use somebody's link because it's an extra 20 bucks between you and me or between you and your friend or somebody. So use somebody's link if you're signing up for Binance US. Um, the other alternative, if you do not want to sign up for Binance, is you're going to have to wait three months and Voyager is going to mail you a check. So, my opinion, I'm not waiting an extra day to get my money off of the Voyager platform. You could have the Department of Justice come in and, and screw everything up again. Mine's going to go from Binance, directly from Binance, probably over to a Trust Wallet, maybe MetaMask, but probably a Trust Wallet where I got my other stuff. And uh, I don't even know if it's going to sit on Binance for 10 minutes. So it is definitely going to be making some moves as soon as it's available. If you want to, uh, I guess, do it uh, the quickest way, go into your Voyager account. There's the thing in the third button on the bottom that says claim. It shows you how much money you have claimed to, and you can opt in. If you opt in, it is, it's going to share your data with Binance. And from there, you're either going to be able to connect a, an already created Binance account, or you're going to be able to create a Binance account when Binance is ready to receive everybody off the Voyager platform. So if you don't want a Binance account, you're going to be waiting three months from, I guess, the distribution date for them to start sending your checks in the mail. Remember those stimulus checks that took forever to send out. They're going to start sending checks in the mail three months after the distribution. So if you don't want to wait, use the link in the description or use somebody else's link. Just use somebody's link, man. Like, don't leave 20 bucks on the table. That's just... It doesn't make any sense to leave 20 bucks on the table. Freddo betrayed me. Freddo, you quick to click the button. I'm not click. I count to like 20 now, man. But slow on the trigger. You fumble the gun, Freddo. Richie, help me take my revenge. There's no revenge needed, Ryan. I thank you very much for that super chat right there. And just know that I gave you all the time in the world. Ryan, you're slow, man. You're slow to click that button. You think I'm fast, but you are slow. Uh, let's see. No, man. They. Oh, my God. Jo jo Joseph, don't... 
Don't tell me that, man. Don't. <sighs> Joseph, you, you're gonna. Oh, Joseph, you're gonna make me mad, man. This was like two days ago that they just approved it. We're gonna go look this up and see if we can get some articles on it. I'm telling you right now, if they terminated the deal, I'm gonna be ticked. Crypto Rocketeer! Boom, baby! You know what he's doing. He's dabbing on him. Yo, bro! All okay? Everything good, Matthew? Buy Bitcoin. I watched your videos, Richie. Good stuff. There you go, Ryan. I love it. Everybody supporting Richie out there. Crypto is looking good. And I wonder if it's because the banking sector, once again, is starting to look like this. Oh my goodness. This is a daily chart. Look at this, guys. A daily chart. This is a, a big bank here in the United States down 50% on the day. $16.85 down to $7.92 on the day. Banks are bad. Banks are bad. Bitcoin doesn't lose 50% in a day. Bitcoin might lose 50% in a year, but Bitcoin doesn't lose 50% in a day. Banks lose 50% in a day. Banks are bad. Bitcoin is good. Banks are going down. Bitcoin's going up. That might be why. I don't know if that's the reason or not. Uh, let's see. Binance terminated the voice your deal. It was worth one bit. Oh my God, dude. You guys are going to kill me. Why would Binance terminate the deal? Uh... Oh my god, dude. You gotta love the United States. They're stealing our money right from out from our faces. Binance has called off the $1.3 billion deal to buy assets of bankrupt crypto lender Voyager Digital. The reason being, they are citing a hostile and uncertain, re uncertain regulatory climate here in the United States. Binance calls off the deal. Binance pulls $1 billion asset deal, says U.S. says hostile. Binance U.S. walks away from proposed $1 billion deal for Voyager Digital Assets. Binance U.S. sends $1 billion deal for bankrupt crypto firm Voyager. The United States is single-handedly driving out all cryptocurrency innovation, all cryptocurrency investment. Dang it, man. Looks like we're going to have to wait a little while longer. I don't think this deal is, is going to go through now, obviously. So what's going to end up happening is apparently we're all going to be getting a check sometime this summer. Uh, sometime this summer or early fall is when we should probably be getting a check right now. Uh, yeah, so... Gosh, that's disappointing, but what are you going to do, man? I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I guess that's fine. It's disappointing that we're going to have to wait now. Binance is done. Nobody else is going to come in and, and make an offer. So it does seem as though we're going to be getting a check in probably four to six months would be my best guess. Maybe three months if we behave. Maybe earlier, if these guys realize the deal ain't going through now, and they just send checks out because all of the bankruptcies have been cleared. So, oh man, that's what we got, guys. Voyager, golly bomb, man. I can't believe that they, they took that. <laughs> you wait a year, what's another three months, man? After you wait a year. You can wait another three months if you've already waited a year. Fredo is too slow. I wasn't slow, Fredo. I said it before you clicked. Betrayal sends you fishing without Neri and Lake Tahoe. I'm telling you right now, I will not be going fishing without Neri and Lake Tahoe. Hey, let's go to Lake Erie. It's a lot closer than Lake Tahoe. Come on, Al. Come on up to my neck of the woods, Al. Let's go fishing there. Johnny J, thank you very much for the la pika pika, la pika pika. <laughs> La pika pika, la pika pika. 
Johnny J, man. Thank you very much for the beautiful little dance and the serenade to Pika Pika. I love it. John J, man. Thank you very much for that super chat. Thank you very much for the serenade to Pika. And Pika, if you're listening right now, Johnny J says hello. Uh, mama said there be days like this. There be days like this, my mama said. My mama did say there'd be days like this, and mama is always right. Mama knows. No, no, Colonel Sanders, you're wrong, and mama's always right. What movie's that? You guys know what? You guys know what movie that's from? Come on. No, Colonel Sanders, you're wrong. Mama's always right. You guys, if you guys don't know that one, you you can't subscribe to the channel. Woohoo! First to be 11 on the like button. Very nice. Deez, thank you for being first on the 11th like. I'm sad Shemirium isn't live and Pepe did in 7,000x last night. You know what? Insert me too, man. Me too. It's like when you buy a lottery ticket and and you don't win. It's, it is it is just a little tiny bit disheartening like that. You got a little bit of hope in you and then it is, it's dashed. I'm going fishing in Vegas for my, uh, on my, on the 8th. What? I'm going fishing in Vegas on my 8th for money. What is this? On the 8th? To celebrate your winnings? Is that what you're talking about, Richie's Plane Talk? Richie, you gotta write that again, dude. I'm going fishing in Vegas on my 8th for... On May 8th. On May 8th. Not, maybe not my 8th. He's going fishing in Vegas on May 8th for money for for celebration of of your bag or what do we got there ron i thank you very much again for another super chat you never stop it with the super chats you just come in here and you send a super chat like you're the man ryan i thank you very much really really appreciate it something's wrong with his madula abla yeah exactly dirty sanchez knows what we're talking about here mama said vicky valancourt is the devil well vicky valancourt showed me her Am I allowed to say that stuff on YouTube? I don't even know if I can say that stuff on YouTube. And I like them too, mama. They're real nice. Anywhere I can find these guaranteed winning lottery tickets. Insert. You know what? There honestly, there probably is places where you can find some guaranteed winning lottery tickets. Let me say this. Some of these guys that have millions of followers and they start to pump a coin, I really do believe there's a, going to be an initial tick up in almost all of those coins. And, and you know, ju let's just use uh, Logan Paul, for example, right? But, you know, that dude's got multi-millions of, of subscribers and followers and fans and so on. If he's going to pump a coin like Zoo Projects or whatever his project was that he was doing, you're going to see some initial you're going to see some initial transactions and, and initial traction in that project. You just got to make sure the launch is fair. Because if the launch isn't fair, it could happen just like that that it dumps off immediately after. So, guaranteed lottery tickets would be ones that these guys with massive followings are trying to pump and then guaranteed to dump on their exit liquidity or all of their followers that they, they should actually care about, but apparently don't. Tony Fredo, I'm talking over, I'm taking over your channel. You haven't watched The Godfather and you talk about movies with Colonel Sanders. Yes, Ryan. Ryan, but, but Waterboy's a classic, man. Waterboy's a classic. Nobody knows about The Godfather. Waterboy, on the other hand, oh, that is a classic. Uh, N-A-F-I. Let's look it up. Kashai. I've not looked at N-A-F-I. She showed me it. Yes. And I like them too. Jay Bones. He knows all about it, man. What? Where did I miss it? Something? You missed You missed Waterboy, man. For sure. Read my comment about meme coins. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan's comment about meme coins. Ryan's comment about meme coins. Ah. Ryan, you did not have a comment about meme coins, man. If you did, YouTube did not let it come through. Uh, I'm going on May 8th. Fish oh, fishing for more money on May 8th. All right, now I feel like an idiot, okay? I feel like an idiot. You're going fishing for more money in Vegas. Now I understand, Richie. Oh my gosh, dude. Sorry you had to explain that to me. Swear I'm not blonde, but it's okay. Fredo's fishing trip was intense with my bodyguard, Al. Yes, it was. I didn't know Clay, bro, like foosball. I love foosball. I made a lot of friends playing foosball. Mama, I love foosball, yes. Oh, water sucks. Set, really, really. Yes, water is good. Water, shoot, don't go Gatorade, man. If you're going to hydrate, you got to hydrate with that high-quality H2O. 
Yes. All right, what was I going to look at, though? I was going to look at something. NFAI. We're going to look at NFAI real quick. NFAI. Pull that up right here. Not financial advice coin. Not financial advice coin is up to 26 cents. It's up 13% on the day. It has a $26 million market cap, 100 million total coins outstanding. I, hey, it is Sertic audited. That is very nice. And it has only been out for about, what, three months now? Middle of January, it launched. It Look, dude, this is a solid graph. Okay, this is a solid graph right now. Three months of slow, steady gains. I don't think that that's too bad, man. Not financial advice coin. Uh, they could do a lot. They can make some changes to the contract, so please be aware of that. Uh, but the Ceratic audit has been done. You can check a little bit more out on GoPlus if you would like. But they can seem to edit their contract, which is not a risk if they don't have any bad intentions but it is a dead red flag if they do have bad intentions ryan i thank you again very much for the super chat ryan says wtf everyone knows the godfather no one's heard of the water boys one of adam sandler's d grade mo dude you uh, you calm down on that one it was not a d grade movie that was a plus material man a plus material. Not something like Spanglish or whatever. We might be able to say that Spanglish was uh, was down in the D grade movies. But uh, I don't know about Waterboy, man. That was a classic. Waterboy, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. Those are some old school classics right there. Let's see. Thomas, man. Thank you very much. Thomas says, hey, how's it going? Hey, Thomas, man. Hey, how's it going? Thomas, hey. How's it going? Thomas, it's going good over here, man. I hope it's going good with you. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat, Patrick says. Here's some high quality H2O, courtesy of Dark Bro, Giggity, and Captain Lou Insano. Dilly dilly to you, Dark Brilly and Pat Trilly. 9,918 to go. Oh, that was a big drink. And that was a good drink. Thank you very much for the super chat, Pat. Absolutely appreciate it. And Pat uses Streamlabs. Pat, thank you very much for going directly through Streamlabs and cutting out YouTube's cut. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Tell her to tell her to witness the greatness, Kombu. Yes. Wife asked what the what all the 99 cent charges and checking account were. <laughs> How to explain mustache shit stickers. Uh, I go like this. <laughs> I'm Kombu, I'm Kombu, and these are for you. <laughs> Dude, she, uh, don't do that. You're probably going to get in a lot of trouble if you do that. But it would be funny if you did that. It would be very funny if you did that, Kombu. Um, we might not ever see you again if you do that, though, so please be careful. Waterboy's a classic. 30 Sanchez. Yes, it is, man. Going fishing with hooks. Urs. Maybe, man. You want me to time him out for water, boy? No, nope. Don't time me out. Do not time me out for the water, boy. I love it. So, Glabro, in Kansas City this weekend, they're holding the NFL draft. I'm trying to go first round. So, if I disappear for a while, see me on TV. You're going to try out for water, boy. That's some high quality H2O. John Jay, just remember when you make it, man, because we know you will. When you make it and they get you your interview, you got to give a shout out to the channel, man. You got to give a shout out to all of the bros and we'll hit you back, guaranteed. John Jay, it's all right if we don't see it, man. We know you got business to take care of. Money works too. Patrick, yes. You're not going fishing for hooks. You're going fishing with hooks for money. That's what you got to do. Ryan, I thank you again for another super chat. Ryan comes in here and he just never stops with the super supers. Ryan, you're coming in with another super chat. I thank you very much. You're like an older brother to me. You're like a younger brother to me, Ryan. You like a younger brother. A younger brother that I like to call Michael. Michael Ryan is good. You know, it's another classic Michael. Michael Scott is another classic Michael. Look into Michael Scott, Ryan. You can like that guy, I guarantee it. Thinking about setting up a patio set with a fire pit outside this summer. Me too, Dark Bro. Me too. I love sitting outside. And uh, I've done, I've got the, like, the wood-burning fire pit. But I don't like smelling like smoke afterwards. I think I'm going to get a propane burning fire pit. Which brings me to my second point. Kids, 
Don't do crack. Exactly, Nufo. Exactly. Dang it, man. You know, everybody knows these movies, and I love it. Yeah, Dark Bro, man. I, I, listen, that's something that I do enjoy, is sitting outside in the evening. The rabbits like to come back out. So sitting outside, watching the birds finish up for the day, watching the rabbits come out, watching the sunset, and, and uh, yes, having a little fire, but I really don't appreciate the smoke. So I am, I'm going to, I'm going to get a propane fire pit going on this summer. Just turn it on, turn it off, come back inside. Good a bit. That's exactly why the hubby and I keep separate accounts. Don't question how I spend my money, but he already knows I'm a sucker for a magical unicorn in any form. Yes, separate accounts will allow you to, <laughs> and in any form shape or form that you prefer. MD, not a bad decision. Not a bad decision. You don't have to explain all of the little magical unicorns that have been coming your way and all of the little tiny king monkeys who like to eat a little banana. Congratulations and welcome to the 10 new bros. Back to the future. Thank you very much for saying welcome to all the 10 new bros out there. Richie, man, thank you for providing 10 new bros. Really appreciate it. Ah, uh, Kombu, tell you went fishing in Vegas. There you go. Fredo, what are you smoking? You compare disaster movie Waterboy to the Godfather. What's the Godfather? And you realize how shallow and hollow Waterboy is. I might. Or I might just realize that Waterboy is the all time classic. <laughs> I was going to try a nay, but I don't know if unicorns really nay. Emma D, thank you very much. For the beautiful little unicorn, absolutely magical. And the king monkey. Is it a king unicorn monkey? Or is that a king monkey and a king unicorn separate? Like, I don't even know if it was supposed to be at the same time, all together, or what. But yes, Emma D, thank you very much. For the king unicorn, the king monkey, and the little banana eater. Really appreciate it. XRP slowly climbing up climbing up over the last let's see what it's uh let's see what xrp is doing here uh you should check out the promotion 2008 with sean williams scott and john c riley it's hilarious uh, you know i i don't think i don't think that i saw that i don't think that i saw that what's the one with uh what's the one with dane cook where he's like employee of the, is it employee of the month or something with dane cook where he works at that like a uh, I, I don't know sam's club or costco or whatever it is King Turkey Challenge 2023 Sound Effect Edition. You know a helicopter sound is far away, then really loud, then fades away. The challenge is just that, only with King Turkey. What is the challenge? Challenge in 2023 Sound Effect Edition. You know how a helicopter sound is far away, and then really loud, and then it fades away. The challenge is just that, only with King Turkey. <laughs> I think I understand what he's talking about. I don't know I don't know if I Oh gosh, John J, dude, the stuff you guys come up with, I don't know if that was sufficient or not. That's the best I got, though, John Jay. I, I don't know if that's what you're looking for or not, but thank you very much for the super sticker. I think I interpreted that correctly, and hopefully we got that down pat. But I, you got to judge me on that one, man. I don't know if that's what you're looking for. What I am liking right now, to kind of change the subject for my helicopter king turkey there, is the fact that Shiba Inu coin is jumping up a little bit, 0.73% from the losses that it had earlier, because Bitcoin is jumping up a little bit, 27 thousand nine hundred on bitcoin i can almost guarantee it's because the banking sector is getting destroyed once again frc guys frc getting hammered today down to eight dollars and twenty cents a 50 percent loss on the day and of course bitcoin is running shiba is running doge is back up ethereum is back up and i can't help but believe it's because the banking sector is getting hit so hard perfect killed it <laughs> yes john jay man thank you very much
I was in I was not very confident going into that sound effect right there, but I do appreciate it. Assignment understood. Cha-ching! Nice, Emma D. The promotion is two guys going for a manager position, opening up at a new grocery store. It's decent uh, Chicago land neighborhood. It's funny and heartwarming. All right, I'm going to have to check that out then because it does sound like it would be cool. Is it on Netflix or anywhere? Or where can you watch promotion? Now, that's where I draw the line, Clay. Everyone knows that Happy Gilmore is the stuff. You know what? No, I do love Happy Gilmore. I love Happy Gilmore. Um, I, I really like Billy Madison, and I like Waterboy as well. Uh, I just, I like all the, I like all three of those. I don't know, the, the wedding, was it the wedding plan? Wedding singer. It was the wedding singer, right? That one was good too, but I, I still like, uh, those other three better. I would say those are my top three Adam Sandler movies right there. Um... You know, I don't even know if I watch, like, Grown Ups and stuff. I would say those, those three are are my top three Adam Sandlers. Unless you guys can come up with another one that I kind of forget about right now. But those are the, the, those are the three where my mind's going. These kids nowadays don't know what great movies are. The Godfather's like a silverback gorilla versus a chihuahua. Dang, dude, I really, if that's the case, I really have to watch The Godfather. Ryan, I might fall in love with The Godfather. I might like it even more than you do. Ryan, I might like The Godfather even more than you do. It might be too dangerous for me to watch, dude. Looks like you can stream it for free on YouTube, Pluto, and almost anywhere. Oh, well, shoot, Matthew, that's perfect. Little Nick, ah, yeah, Little Nicky was, a I did watch that one. It doesn't hit my, it doesn't break uh, Happy Gilmore, uh, Waterboy, and, and Billy Madison for me, though. That was a decent one. And then Big Daddy. Big Daddy was another one, but still doesn't break me, uh, break the top three there. Uh, those were 50 first dates. Yes, 50 first dates was pretty funny. I don't know if I would put that uh, above those three still though, but I did like 50 first dates. I was with Drew Barrymore, right? Again, let's see. Matthew, cool, Matthew, cool, Matthew, you are cool, man. Cool, Matthew is cool. Matthew, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Absolutely appreciate it. You are cool, dude. Thank you very much for that. Patrick, thank you again. We've got impressive. Most impressive. King. Thank you very much, Patrick, for the super chat. And a very impressive King Turkey, indeed, if I don't say so myself. Let's hit that authorized hydration. With only 9,917 to go. Ryan, I thank you very much again for another super chat. Ryan is a little skeptical that I might like The Godfather more than he likes it. But I might like The Godfather more than Ryan likes it, and that's why I'm afraid to watch The Godfather. Thank you very much for the super chat, Ryan. And it is true, man. I might like The Godfather even more than you. Uh, don't get no respect from what? I don't even know. Don't mess with the Zohan. I forgot about that one. No, that one doesn't get any respect. That one is pretty funny, too. Rain Over Me was a great movie. Not a comedy, but great. Ooh, I don't... I don't. That wasn't an Adam Sandler one, was it? Because I don't know what Rain Over Me was. Um, What about... What was the Hanukkah one? Where there was a cartoon. You, you, the cartoon one. Oh. What was the cartoon Adam Sandler where where he was like he celebrated Hanukkah? That was another one. Dan! Thank you very much for the super chat. Dan says, the only thing in crypto that matters is price action. Ship hasn't moved in a long time. Why even bother with it? They keep throwing utility at it and it doesn't affect the price an inch. Dude, I can tell you this right now. I truly believe that that they could come up with the most revolutionary utility in the game. They could come up the equivalent. If we had the equivalent in the monetary system to something like perpetual motion that could generate free electricity for the rest of eternity, it still wouldn't make the price jump up. I, I truly believe that. I think it, what we're looking at right now is complete dominance by the regulatory institutions like the SEC and so on. Right now, I mean, look at this Binance deal. 
as an example. Binance breaking their deal with Voyager because they don't even want to do business in the U.S. anymore. Think about that, man. They almost just received $1.3 billion in cryptocurrency clients here in the U.S. And they don't even want to deal with it. That, that shows you that these businesses do not want to be here anymore. They were onboarding $1.3 billion in crypto. And they said no. Every transaction in that $1.3 billion was going to be money in their pocket. And they said no. Think about that. Guys, even if they walked away with a tenth of a percent on, on $1.3 billion being transacted every week, they were making massive 1% on $1 on a billion dollars would be what? One one hundredth is $10 million. Even if it was a tenth of a percent, they'd be making a million dollars a week in profit. If they would have gone through with that deal and they were only hitting 10th of a percent a week, a million bucks, and they turn that down because they don't want to deal with the United States. They don't want to deal with the CFTC. They don't want to deal with the SEC. They don't want to deal with this. That to me spells, spells big trouble for crypto in the United States. That to me spells big trouble that they had it guaranteed 1.3 billion in clients and and they say no to that let's see so yeah uh dan that the whole reason i went on that little rant was because i don't think that we're gonna see price action unless the u.s system starts to crumble like the like frc bank is doing right now if the banking system starts to go out okay but we are going to need a definite shift in focus on on crypto here in the u.s for us to see some some price movement Fredo was comparing Adam Sandler to a legend like Al Pacino. Adam Sandler's best movie was Anger. Ooh, Anger Man. Yeah, yeah. What was that? Goose Fraba. Goose Fraba. That was another good one. I like it. And Eight Crazy Nights. Right above that. Yes, MD was Eight Crazy Nights. Oh my gosh. Uh, Ryan, that, that was, I forgot about anger management. That, that was a pretty good one though. What about Bulletproof with Adam Sandler? That was a funny, Bulletproof. I don't know if I've seen Bulletproof. There is no utility ship given yet, being only third party payment processors to use ship, and that has nothing to do with Shitosi. Ship iPhone game doesn't even use ship for currency. Doesn't burn, and it's not even profitable, Matthew. It is not. Adam Sandler made more movies than Al Pacino. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Orion, you seeing that? Good afternoon to you, Nick F. How you doing, man? No one can do a better King Turkey than Clay, bro. No one. Somebody might be able to. I don't even know. Do you have any predictions for a GDP and... Oh, man. When? No, Matt. When's GDP coming out, man? I don't even know when GDP is coming out. We can look at the analyst expectations and talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. I'm the same here. I've been crazy busy. Feels like this is the first time in a week I can take a break. Pika. Pika's making me sneeze. Oh, Pika making me sneeze. Pika, I'm glad that you're spending it with us, too. For Emma D. I don't even know what this is. Emma D says I have no clue how it's almost made this year. Dude, this year really has been flying by. Did Emma D request a song? I don't know if Emma D requested a song or or not. You are my fire, the one desire. Believe when I say that I want Emma D this way, Emma D. <laughs> That's all I got. Emma D, thank you very much for not requesting that song and potentially not ever requesting another song again. Pika, thank you very much for the super chat. I may have missed something in uh, in the, the line there. But thank you guys very much for the super chats. Really appreciate it. And Emma, that is for you. Oh, it was just a, oh, it was just a mic drop. <laughs> I went a little too far on that one. <laughs> oh gosh! Also, funny with Adam Sandler was just go uh, was just go with it with Jennifer Aniston too. Oh yeah, just go with it with the one where he had. Uh, oh, dude, wasn't that Andy Roddick's wife or Andy Roddick's girlfriend that was in that movie that pretended to be his girlfriend? 
or she or uh, he pretended no she pre he pretended to still be married to Jennifer Aniston right to get with that other girl in that movie dang you guys are remembering all of the Adam Sandler movies right now I love it man uh, Thursday, April 27, GDP and Friday. Okay, so let's see what we got in terms of expectations for GDP here. We're going to come out and check this out, and then we can discuss it a little bit. So let's load up this week. Yes, apply. Great. Coming out to here. Okay, cool. And uh, da, 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 da. 27th, we've got... Gross domestic product coming out here in the United States. Consensus. All right. The previous reading was for 2.6%. The consensus is for 2%. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Uh, I don't know if it's going to beat expectations or come in lower than expectations. But I will say this. If it comes in lower than 2%, they are going to start throwing another little hissy fit that we are getting ready and gearing up for a recession. Okay, 2% is decent GDP growth. It's clearly nowhere near some of these emerging economies, but 2% is fine. If it comes in lower, I can almost say or almost guarantee that they're going to be concerned that we are looking at contraction. And contraction in the overall GDP growth could lead to a recession. Now, definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters of GDP decline or negative GDP. So we're not there. We were there. We're not there anymore. But uh, yeah, that's probably the story that they're going to start pitching if if GDP comes in lower or much. If it comes in at 1.9, maybe. But if it comes in much lower than this 2%, uh, we're going to hear a lot of recession talk. That's almost guaranteed, man uh let's see so personal consumption i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not terribly worried about personal consumption i would say that people have continued to spend so i i don't think that this is going to come in much lower than um 4.5 percent i would say that people are continuing to spend their money i don't know about you guys i don't feel like i'm saving a drastic amount of money compared to what we could be if, if prices were down across the board, restaurants, grocery stores, I know rent is expensive. Inflation has driven the interest rates up. So I, I think the people are going to, the personal consumption is probably going to be pretty elevated as well. I wouldn't worry too much about the, the personal consumption, but the, the GDP could lead to some pretty annoying discussions if they believe or start to fear a recession is around the corner. Oh, I want to make sure I didn't miss nothing. Didn't miss anything. Pepe girl. Pepe coin. 1,000x. Pepe girl. Let's check it out. Don't forget to click it. The uh, movie. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. Click. Click was the one with the, the remote control. I do remember that one as well. The remote controller can control his life. Bulletproof was good. Damon Wayans and uh, James Con uh, James Con, right? Uh, James was Sonny Corleone and The Godfather. Sandler was competent for a change. Only in that one film, right? Because we had some Godfather. We have some Godfather guys in there. Helicopter King Turkey for Pika. Absolutely. John Jay, I gotcha. John Jay for displaying the Helicopter King Turkey to Pika Power. I don't know if it's as good as the other one, man. I don't know if it's what you hope for, but that's the best that I got, John Jay. Ah, oh, let's see. Bulletproof 90s class. Gonna airheads. If we are taking the filmography back to the roots, let's get it. I'm saving a more since my expenses are low. My homes are paid off. Roulette wheel. I love it, man. I love it. That's the Listen, I want you guys to save and, and budget as well as possible. Don't forget to thumbs up, even though Clay ignores you. Richard, I will never ignore anybody. No, you know that. I do not ignore you. Please click the thumbs up anyway. Uh, Serpico was superior all to all Adam Sandler movies ever made times a hundred. Michael Corleone owns all the casinos and all the power and all the babes. And you're just a wheel. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Oh, Michael Corleone is the man. It's not a helicopter, King Turkey. That's the ghost, King Turkey. Oh, man. My bad, Dark Bro. 
Ghost King Turkey, Helicopter King Turkey, that's the best I could do. Fredo, read my comment about Dex Tools the fifth time I'm typing it. Ryan, uh, let's see, we got that one, uh, we've got Bulletproof, we're going back off, Serpico, or we got that one, we got Fredo's comparing Adam Sandler to a legend, we've got, uh, these kids nowadays don't know what good movies are, uh, Fredo is smoking something, comparing it to the, I'm telling you dude, if you didn't type it in the last like 10 minutes, like it's just not showing up. I don't know why I, I just looked through all of those So if you know that it was after one of those comments that I read definitely didn't show up for some reason Dark belt inflation is under control. Everything is under control. The government is here to help. Yes, it is MD. Let me reiterate to all of you guys who are skeptical out there that the government is on your side They are here to control you the situation and help you not control you i don't know where my mind was going there they are there to control the situation and make sure that you have the best life possible youtube now promote my content please dude i'm telling you like i truly believe that, that youtube does that like i i know their algorithm probably promotes content that promotes the same narratives that they want to promote you know what I'm saying like uh, they're smart enough that they can do that and and if I talk a little bit of crap or pose a little skepticism and allow you guys to make up your own decisions instead of trying to feed you decisions um they probably don't like that too well I don't know I, I just that's that's the way that I think BlackRock owns part of Dominion and Fox I wonder why Tucker got fired did Tucker actually get fired? Uh, somebody was saying that they were they were leaving, but I, did he get fired? Oh, uh, let's see. So, so glad he's my president. I feel so much safer with everything that I love, either getting banned or stolen. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a great world that we live in, isn't it? I'm sitting silently every night, knowing my commander in chief's comedy cable, looking out for my best. Yes, and any and every commander in chief will do that the same. That is why you salute them and do whatever they tell you. Ah, yes, peak of power. There must be new foes around here somewhere, right? She's going, ah, and the mental folk is unmatched as it should be. So, Dusty Love from Kansas City, Missouri. Are you saying what's up, Dusty? Love from Kansas City, Missouri? Or are you calling me Dusty? Like, what's up, Dusty? Love from... Is it somebody else named Dusty? Or are you showing me some Dusty love? Like, is it is just old love? Like, what do we got going on here? STV, man. Mr. Weenus. I don't know what we got going on. Me. So, oh, you're calling me Dusty. All right. What's up, Dusty? Love from Kansas City. Gotcha. It's Dusty Love. It could be Dusty Love. I don't know. I don't know how you show somebody some dusty love. What is dusty love? I don't even know what that is, man. Rockets where when now now man. Oh, 28k. Did we hit 28k on Bitcoin? Bitcoin cracking 28,000. Looking good. Bitcoin touching 28,000. Four dollars bouncing back nicely, guys. Let's see where we fall in the daily here. Ah, uh, we still got a ways to go. Look at this. We might not even see resistance now until we touch 29,000. So that is some good news. The the bodies are going to bring resistance down here at 28.5. So watch out for the bodies resistance at 28.5. Wick resistance around 29. Okay. We'll watch the wick resistance at 29. Body resistance at 25. So something to keep an eye on there. But nonetheless, Bitcoin looking like it might be trying to make a comeback. And Shiba Inu coin bouncing back up as well, sitting at 1039. Dogecoin trying to get back up to the 8 cent mark, sitting at 7944. Ethereum sitting at 1862. And after hours, not too much going on in terms of after hours activity in the stock market right now. Man, Mullen getting hit hard. Sundial is up slightly. CEI down slightly. The SPY up a little bit after hours. BBIG up a little bit. iCroft up a little bit. Netflix up a little bit. QQQ up a little bit. Ape up a little bit. Not too much in terms of after hours activity going on here. And then the banking sector sitting flat after hours here. 
you guys can see these five minute candles keeping us around eight dollars and 41 cents a three percent jump up but man eight dollars and ten cents on the close for frc today frc getting ripped from yesterday's close it's 16 dollars so 16 bucks down to eight dollars a 50 percent decline <clears throat> decline in one of the bigger banks out of san francisco there so Keep an eye on that one, guys. It's going to be a very important indicator as to whether or not cryptocurrency is going to do well. Because we know when the banks are doing bad, the cryptos are doing good. Highly skilled in knowledge of ice cream and ignoring literally everything but the butterflies. Sometimes you just got to ignore the difficulties in life and focus on the beauty. That's what I like to do. That's why we sit here every day and we have a good time. Ryan, I thank you again. Ryan, I thank you again because if you sent another chat about the decks, I didn't see it. The last one said, Fredo, you could be doing Michael Corleone instead of Deegan Turkey. I could, man. I'm doing Michael Corleone right now. Isn't this how Michael Corleone talks? To me, this is how Michael Corleone talks because I haven't even watched the movie, but I think this is how he talks. Thank you very much for the Super Chat, Ryan. Really appreciate you, man. And yes, I could do the King Turkey. I could do Michael Corleone. I could do it all. Anyone looking at a burn swap? Hashtag burns. Bender. No, I haven't even seen ben, uh, burn swap, man. We want to look at burn swap. Burn. Uh, this must be a, a really new one. Has this been out for a while, or has this just been released? I don't know if this has been out or if this has just been released, man. I'm not I, I don't see any data on this. I mean, that's my one-minute chart. Where's the volume here? Does it show us? The, yeah, dude, I'm not even seeing any volume right now. Total liquidity of $3.59. I don't know if that is correct. That would be wild if there was only $3.59 in liquidity. But yeah, I don't know enough uh, about this coin and it's not giving us any information. On this coin, and it's got two risks. Still can make. Oh my god, dude, don't buy this one. 100% sell tax. Holy moly. Alright, so I don't know what this coin is, but 100% sell tax, dude. Do not, I mean, this may be a honeypot. What are you talking about? Maybe. It's a 100% sell tax. Oh, you guys can't even see that. Holy smokes. Yeah, look at this. I got a 100% sell tax. Of course, it may be a honeypot. How can you sell your coin? 100% sell tax right here. Don't, don't buy that coin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If they're not uh, if they're not going to change that sell tax after the coin launches, if they're forcing you to hold through the pre-sale, okay, that's a dirty way to do it, but um yeah, if they don't change that, you, you can't make any money. You just get a, you just get ripped. You send in all your money. No matter what you buy there, you're sending all your money to their pool. So, don't don't touch this one unless you know for a fact they're going to change that sell tax after the the coin launches. So, be very skeptical of this one. I've actually I've not seen a hundred percent sell tax before. I, I think they may have done that on Safe Moon when they moved from Safe Moon One to Safe Moon Two. But just be very careful on this one. I wouldn't touch it until they change that right there and you see that it's been changed. 
but that's something I, I wouldn't be interested in. Ryan, I thank you again for another super chat. Bitcoin over under 30,000 by the end of 2023. Ooh, JJ. I want to play this game with you, JJ. Let's play this game. Over or under on 30,000. Can I do a I, can I do an if then statement or can I do an if then scenario? Cuz here's my he, listen, here's my bearish approach, okay? This is my bearish approach. By the end of 2023, cryptocurrency in its current form is outlawed in the United States. I don't know if they're going to be able to get there by the end of 2023 because it's going to move fast, right? It's going to move fast. But my bearish approach says that cryptocurrency is going to be illegal in the United States in its current form or just uh, like unavailable in its current form by the end of 2023 or on its way because I, I know that stuff takes a while i don't know if they'll be able to accomplish all that by the end of the year or not but that's my bearish approach in that scenario we might see bitcoin back down to five thousand okay we might see bitcoin back down to five thousand or below if united states investors are forced out of the game now of course some of us will will get creative and people will be able to invest overseas and things like that. But my bearish approach says that this regulation gets out of hand, the government gets out of control, and cryptocurrency is made illegal in its current form here in the U.S., and Bitcoin is back down to 5000 or less. I say 5000 because the United States, I would say, is like the largest investor in cryptocurrency and has the most money. But it's not the only investor in cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin's not just going to go to zero if the U.S. pulls out. It's going to move overseas, and it's going to thrive globally, but it's going to take a very, very hard hit. My bullish approach says that these idiots, and I don't say that lightly, these idiots start to realize that what they're doing is causing more harm than it is good. And if they realize people are going to be losing a lot of money, the United States is going to be losing out on hundreds of millions of dollars in tax revenue. If they start to realize that their regulation through enforcement is idiotic, then they start to provide clarity instead. And by the end of 2023, we have some framework in place for these exchanges, both DeFi and central finance to thrive. If that's the case, Dude, Bitcoin could be back up to 50 by the end of the year. So uh, I am, uh, I don't know which way I'm leaning. You know, it is it is very difficult and it does pivot or teeter on that fulcrum of what the regulators are going to do. I'm very sorry that I didn't just say over or under, but that's kind of where I'm at in my, my thought process on crypto right now. I want all my money back from Voyager and not 50% roulette wheel. Me too. Danny! Baby douche, 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 baby douche. Let's look at baby doge, guys. Baby doge coin. Oh, yes. Baby Doge coin sitting at 1.64 uh, gain, 1.64%, 1.53% gain on the day. $339 million market cap. Steady over the last couple of days, down over the last week. And it is coming, it is up over the last month, but coming back down off of these highs right here. Three months, still much higher than it was at the beginning of the year, but down off those highs that it experienced back at the beginning of February over the last one year. It is still higher than it was before and actually has had some very nice gains since the beginning of 2023. Baby doge lady we get some baby doge holders in here danny anybody else holding baby doge out there i do not have any but it does seem as though dan has some baby doge uh coming back down here ryan says look at my comment above the super chat about dick's tools above the super chat uh, before they hit coin market cap fredo you could be doing michael corleone said to king uh, ryan what i got above that last super chat is nothing in between the super chats and then above that second to last one it says before they hit coin market cap and then above that it says fredo you could be doing michael corleone instead of deegan turkey so i don't think it would be before that i don't think it would go all the way back to to those levels 
Oh, where are we at? It's Bitcoin to 5,000 would be awesome. Huge buying opportunity. Like finding gold by accident. Yes. For you, Dan, because you live in Australia, it would be easy for you. For the rest of us that live in the United States, we would have to be friends with guys like you that could buy it in Australia and keep it safe and sound for everybody else. Johnny J! Thank you very much for the super chat. John J says, let's see you fly. Let's see you fly. <sighs> John Jay. John Jay, thank you very much for this super chat. Absolutely appreciate that. I haven't had that one in a while. I forgot how difficult that one is. John Jay, man, thank you very much for the superhero super sticker. Absolutely appreciate it. And Ryan, once again, thank you very much for the super chat, Ryan. I promise you, chats are not coming through, man. I know that I'm not ignoring them. They're just not coming through. So I'm very sorry that YouTube is like just manually hiding your comments for some reason. I have no idea what they're doing, man. Matthew saw, said, I sold my baby doge and was still up a bit, paid my taxes with it, kept my pit bull Bitcoin though. There you go, Matthew. Very nice, man. Making some gains and paying taxes. Good deal. Uh, family members coins. Why don't they focus on making the original better? Kombu, that I have no idea. He made an oxygen mask after that one. Roulette wheel. I think I do over 28,000 Bitcoin. Mike, it is going up, man. 502 on the clock. Guys, it is after 5 o'clock. Stream is over. We're going to get our names in the chat right now. We're going to do the shout outs and we will be back tonight with videos at 7 p.m. Videos at 8 p.m. Appreciate every single one of you. And uh, I do want to say, 99% sure I will not be alive tomorrow. I think I'm going to be going to a water park with my nieces and nephews tomorrow. So uh, if that is the case, no live stream tomorrow. So in case you can't find me, let's, you know, somebody in the, I'll probably be able to type it in the, in the Discord. But, dude, if I'm on a water slide or something, I'm not going to be able to type it. Um, I could give you guys a heads up before we before we get there, if I do. So, just wanted to give you guys a heads up now, just in case. So, uh, yeah, indoor water park, though, Spanner. It is, it is very cold. It's only 52 outside. You would not want to go to an outdoor one. It is an indoor one. So, a very good chance that that's happening tomorrow. Just wanted to let you guys know right now, in case you guys are looking for the stream tomorrow morning, or if Dark Bro can't get first in the chat because there is no chat, then, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that in case it happens and you can't find the stream tomorrow. So, uh, I don't know. Somebody remind everybody if they're looking for it and and I'm on a slide and, and can't. I uh, can't talk in the Discord. So uh, let's do some shout outs and then we will be back tonight with videos because I still got to record some. Ryan, man, enjoy it. J Bowen saying, peace out of the diamond handed t shirt burrito. Oh, pocket burritos, baby. I love it. Spend your man, Kombu, Roulette Wheel, Mike. See you later. The franchise owning the float. What's going on, man? Glad to have you in here. Hello and goodbye, owning the float. Uh, logs, later to you, Spaniard. It is a bit cool, man. 30 Sanchez, enjoy your day. The franchise, DD214, Kombu, man, JJ, Johnny. J, see you later. We've got Dark Bro, D's, John J, New to Puto. Happy Taco Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. King Taco, baby. We got a king. Mm. Oh, taco, thank you very much. New to Puto. Ah, Nufo, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. We got Dark Bro coming in first again. I'm telling you, Dark Bro making his first appearance right now in case he can't get it tomorrow. Dark Bro, Dark Bro, JJ, we've got Dark Bro, Spaniard, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, D's, Dark Bro, Alexis, Back to the Future, DD214, Akombu, uh, J Bones, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.